Here is an underside view of the trailer. Spare tires. Side, fold down side assembly supports that um, are a little stiff to open, but especially with one hand, these open like this. These come out. Supports for the trailer when it's not connected to the truck. These two just tack into place there. A little bit of detail in the 3D print. Um, once I have my Lumen Resources Atlas later this fall. I'll finish doing the attachment that goes here to attach the trailer to the, the truck. I have one side panel complete and painted and fitted there's still some tweaking to do here and there and this is my a prototype uh, I do not plan on printing another revision of this as it would be too costly um, so let's go around take a look at some of the details here I've got the uh, Autobot logo insignia here lots of details in the panel itself and we'll get around to the inside when we fold it down. We've got our rail assembly that comes out and provides support for our side panel when it's folded down. We've got storage compartment here. Our rear tires and axle assembly. We come around back here. We've got our bumper, we've got our ramp, we've got our door see here so if I take this out and pop down this rail um, and again um, the reason why I have a couple of boxes here instead of the front supports is because the trailer is actually longer than this table just over 36 inches We'll bring down this side support and we can just take the trailer which is hinged and it rests on that. Okay. If I can maneuver in here. Still got some paint uh, details to do. We've got a side display. We've got multi display workstation there. Our um, a divider. We've got lots of uh, detail in the 3D printed panels. On the end there, you see it says Autobots rollout. Uh, in the model file, you'll see on the other side, it, uh, it's a, this, the uh, phrase is uh, one shall stand and one shall fall. So this door will open, and if there was a table space there, this, this unclips and turns into a ramp. So right now it'll just fall, fall down and place it because I don't have big enough tape to display this on right now. So all kinds of details. Take another look at it from around this direction.
here we have the other ramp there's a table space there and you'd have the two ramps I have to work out a mechanism for here on how to make sure that this stays securely locked I'm banking on right now when both sides are done that the doors the clips to hold the doors into each other will be su well will suffice but if they do not I'm thinking of maybe using a magnet set up in here to hold this in place slide that in there and again a few of the back with some paint details and 3D printed details. I think I might take a break, just tweak the models a little bit and maybe do some more paint details on this. Get the roller. And there will be an attachment that I will design for here that will allow it to tow this as well as um, clip it into place right here so it doesn't just roll freely around. It may be uh, mount his gun and maybe some other accessories I'm also thinking about on either side of this um, ins designing some uh, gun turrets like extendable gun turrets I know the original didn't have those but this thing is just so big that uh, it starts to look empty without anything else added into it so let's take a look at some of these details again Here in the pod. And uh, let's get something here for uh, uh, size comparisons. Comparison. Let's see, what do I have? How about uh, Earthrise? Um, let's see, Earthrise Inferno. Just for size comparison there how about if I can get at him it's just so cramped in here right now with this little work table working on this but how about um, we throw another guy down in here uh, MPP 10 so Zhang's oversized version of MP10 just to give you size comparison there and uh, they both look quite small compared to the trailer so if, uh, let's take these out let's put this side back up and there is a point there where you have to clip it in place there we go and if we stand in pp10 next to the trailer just to give you an illustration of the size just to give a an idea of the size of the trailer so that's all I have for now I do have uh, pretty much all my models complete. I have the other side complete as well as what I'm going to set up in there for a uh, comm station or a computer station as well as a, a tank for energon reserves and whatnot. Um, I do have uh, some wheel chucks designed to go between the wheels because it's so big that even with the front uh, supports out, if you roll it forward they'll collapse in so I've got some wheel chucks designed to go with it um, it's just uh, next time I get some more filament in I'll work on the other side it's just this has been a long ongoing project and I think I'm going to take a little break 
uh, from it here for the next month or so uh, through the beginning of the summer. Uh, for those who have been inquiring about uh, getting their hands on the model files or if I will ever post them online or make them available someday, I haven't decided that yet. Uh, if I do, they will be on CG Trader, um, but I do not intend to make a, any number of detailed videos on how to build it or any real serious amount of written work instructions on how to build it. Um, uh, it'll be here are the files. Uh, you know, I'll answer a few questions, but other than that, you'll have to figure it out. It's a lot of work and I'm just really not interested in uh, walking anybody through the process. I only recommend those individuals who have experience doing anything like this uh, attempt it.